What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here. Kim K inspired. If you want to know how I recreated this look, then just keep watching. We're going to go in with orange soda on a B Bella brush. This one is NG325. Orange soda is going to work as our transition color. So I'm just going to add it over here. And we're going to keep this look more round. So Now that I have my transition color in, I'm going to go into Burnt Orange and using this Sigma E40 brush, I'm just going to add it onto my lid. So I'm just adding it like that with my blending brush. You could probably use a flat brush, but I really don't want to. Once I have it on the lid, I'm just going to start adding it to my crease, whatever I have on my brush. Still trying to keep that color more down, not too high up. Once I have that, I'm just going in with the Clean Makeup Shack T93 and just blending the two colors. Now I'm going to take a Makeup Shack T64, which is a little bit more smaller brush. I'm going to go into Sienna right. And then we're just going to do the exact same thing that we did to burnt orange. Add it onto our lid and pull it forward to our crease. I'm just going to add it to my crease. And I'm going to be super careful to not drag it all the way up. So I'm just looking down on my mirror. And slowly trying to buff the edges. I'm going to blend the edges out at the end. I'm going to go into Rustic, which is a darker brown. And add that to the lid. I'm not going to pack it on way too much this color. It's just so it's not too red tone, orangey tone. So as you can see, it's not blended out. So I'm going to take a Morphe M514. And this has been a life changer for me. I absolutely love this little brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of orange soda and just start blending out the edges, but still keeping it that shape that I want. that's supposed to be easy but for me it's kind of hard i'm going to do the liner effect she has and on the picture i'm going based off on you can see right here that her liner over here on this side is more smudged out rather than perfected right so i have a little bit of a hard time doing that because i really really want to just blend it all out and if i blend it all out it's not going to give me that like effect type of thing so as you could see i was kind of struggling with this you could still see the liner but it's not blended or not too blended i don't know how to explain it so i'm going to grab a bh cosmetics brush and it's just a liner brush and i just start off by doing the lash line right here I'm not being perfect on it. I'm just smudging it out. Now, for over here, I'm just going to grab anything that's, like, flat to give me a little bit of help, which I was using this coupon. Literally, just line it up. It's just start adding it like that. And as you can see, it gives me the liner effect already. To be honest, it's easier if you have a mirror really close to you, but I don't. My mirror is kind of over there. Crazy, right? I know. Um... So just like that, and then I grab a Ulta large eyeshadow brush, and I just but I just start blending it like that. So you could still see it, but not as much. I don't know how to explain it. When you guys try it, y'all see. So the eyes are done. I personally think that she didn't wing it out as much as I did. I just winged it out a little bit more. I should have gone a little shorter. So if you guys want to go a little shorter, you do you. For the foundation, I am going to use two, which is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Foundation and my Makeup Forever. She has a very matte look going on. This foundation looks so orange. This one literally works on my friend Taya and I still keep it because 
I paid money for it. So one, I'm about to use it, make it worth my money. So we really about to conceal today because the LA girl one was a little too dark too. So I don't know how to match myself. Apparently bronze with a liquid concealer and it is the MAC Pro Longwear. And I'm doing this because Kim had very sculpted cheeks, so and I'm just stippling it. It might look like a lot, but I haven't concealed, so obviously, when I conceal, it's gonna look a little bit not too harsh. And honestly, this look is gonna look pretty harsh with the contour because I'm not adding any highlight, I'm looking real, real bronzy or whatever to be super, super highlighted. So I'm highlighting places I wouldn't even highlight other times, but we about to be extra today, so I'm going to blend everything except my under eyes first. This is not something I do on the everyday basis, so please don't think I do this all the time because I don't. We're just being extra today. Going to bake with the derma blend and i've actually been really liking this my friend esmeralda recommended it to me and it was on sale so you know i got it i'm gonna like take it off in a second over here but i'm going to actually leave the baking on for a while just so it gives me that bright effect i always set my whole face with um, loose powder when I want my makeup to last longer. I've been doing this forever, so nothing new. The brush I'm going to use is my MAC 129, and I'm using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I actually really like it, except I don't like how strong of a smell it has. Of So I'm just adding this onto our bronzer, that onto our cream bronzer, blush i'm going to use a dark blush and it is nyx dusty rose so i'm just gonna add a little bit of that to the apples of my cheeks now i'm going to tight line my waterline and i'm going to use a bobby brown longwear gel eyeliner and i'm using a mac 266 brush Next, I'm going to go into orange soda and burnt orange and just mix those two on the waterline. And I still have the translucent powder because I'm going to add black too and I don't want it to have fallout and all that. So we're basically going to repeat the same steps we did on the lid, just on the bottom. I'm adding it all the way up to my inner corner, something I like never do and then i'm going to go into the black shade now i'm going to go into cypress umber and rustic and just add that next to the black and this is really going to diffuse it and make it look very nice and clean I swear the lashes complete this look. They are Dubai from Makeup Shack. For a lip liner, I am going to use NYX Brooklyn Thorn to outline my lips. Just going to go in with Anastasia Naked Liquid Lipstick. And... I'm gonna wait till it dries and then blend it out with the pencil. This is the final look. I absolutely love how it turned out. I did leave it matte. Like I said, now that I noticed the picture, she does have a little bit of highlight. If I had highlight, I'm gonna go overboard. I'm not trying to do that. I love how she did the black liner on the bottom and smoked it out. It is a bomb. I think I'm going to start doing it. Let me know if you like this look. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell at the bottom so you're notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.